It's been a bit of an underwhelming start to Josh Gordon's career. And we're about to take on the Minnesota Wild for the second time in as many episodes. The last meeting of the regular season against the Minnesota Wild. And we're starting this game once again on the bench. No surprise there. What's this pending simulation crap? Starting off on a joke again with EA Sports. No surprise there. Can't even hide it. Oh my god, I'm on the ice. I wasn't even paying attention there. It's a line change. There's Dvorak. Chips it to Gordon. And he'll feed it to Dadnov. Who gets hammered? Dadnov just recently traded by the Montreal Canadiens. And we're back the other way. Here's Eric Sinek. Gordon getting into position. He was not in position. Frederick Gaudreau gets that shot away. The Wild lead 1-0. Ooh, all right. Five-minute major here for the Canadians. Gordon's going to get some power play time. Let's see if he can do anything with it. He's quickly checked there. Turned over. Let's just cherry pick in the offensive zone here. There's the pass to Gordon. Gordon's into the zone trying to get the setup here for the Canadians. Gordon waiting, looking for help. Goes right to the corner of the backhand shot. It's stopped there by Flurry, I assume. And it's cleared by former Toronto Maple Leaf, Ilya Labushkin. Dvorak feeds Gordon, slows up. Gordon dishes it behind the net to Murray. Out front for Gordon. Says well aimed shot, but I feel like I shot that into the corner. Stretch pass again for Gordon. Gordon's into the zone. Gordon behind the net. Looking out in front. Centers. Labushkin gets a stick on that. Gordon's knocked down. He's dead tired, but he's going to stay out on the ice. Rushing down the line. Gordon stops up at the circle again. Tries to make a move. He does make a move to the front of the net. It's stopped there by Fleury. Couple of good looks there for Gordon. But nothing to show for. Dvorak wins the faceoff. Gordon there. Gordon the shot. Just wide. Dadnoff. Gordon tries to help him out in the corner. Kaprizov checks him. And Kaprizov's away with the puck and he's quickly level. Cop. Check there by Gordon. Nice back check there by Gordon. But trying to make up for his previous mistakes. The puck goes deep into the zone now and Jared Spurgeon's on it. Quickly at the end of the period, here's Gordon out of the zone. Can Gordon get around his man? He does, but he loses handles of the puck. They call it an offensive turnover. And that'll do it for the second period. Gordon tries to come in and help. Doesn't get the puck. And now he's just going to cover the points. Erickson Eck. Long stretch pass was just a little bit behind Gordon or else he would have been free. And now the Canadians, slow and steady, will break this puck out. Dvorak. Feeds Gordon. Gordon the shot. Stopped by Fleury. Labushkin has got the puck now. We're in the last minute of play here. The Canadians need a goal. Will the Canadians even it up here with 33 seconds left? They won't. And surprise, surprise, it's another loss for the Montreal Canadiens. The Wild go to 8-1-1 one one on the year. They're looking hot. And the Canadiens, well, they just look sad. Folks, we got great news here as we're starting the second game of this episode. We just completed a cancer awareness event where I got the team to sign a jersey and donated it to Cancer Research. We raised a lot of money. And you know, every time Gordon does a good deed, he comes out and has a good game. Last time he helped the homeless and they got a goal and an assist. What's gonna happen here in Winnipeg? And there's the comparison between Kyle Connor and Josh Gordon. Not much of a comparison there. But you know what? 
That's okay, because we're going to have a huge game here against the Winnipeg Jets in Winnipeg. The Canadians are already up 1-0, thanks to a power play goal from Jonathan Drouin. Gordon, cover in the middle, and he blocked that pass. Great play by Gordon, lifts the stick there. Now Gordon's around Pionk. Gordon to the front of the net, shot stopped by Hellebuck. Now Gordon's got the puck again, looking for his man, Savard. The shot, the rebound, Gordon whacks away at it, and Hellebuck makes the save. I tell you, every time Gordon does something good for the community, he really steps up in game. He's got four points on the year, two points behind the Nears. And the quest for the Calder. And Gordon's going to hop out for his first shift here of the second period. Oh, almost took his man out right hopping off the bench there. There's Romanov. Up to Gordon. Gordon will just chip it in and have his teammates race onto the puck. Gordon trying to set himself up. Nate Schmidt got run over there by Gordon. The center he pass. Oh, Gordon just puts it wide. Oh, he was all over the ice there with a huge hit on Schmidt. And Gordon just put that puck wide. He looked to the stars after that one. He's shaking his head there. He should have had that one. But now he's out of the zone. Stopping up. He's going to circle back here. Finds Petrie. Petrie. Onside. Tries to find Gordon, but Pierre-Luc Dubois there to break up that play. Over to Nino Niederreiter. Now Gordon's going to have to do his best to get back into the green. Great intercept there from Gordon. He's into the zone. He stops up, spins off his man, throws the puck into the corner. Gaudet's got the puck, and Winnipeg will break it out. Dying seconds of the period here now. Are we going to get one last chance? Probably not. But now Gordon's going to try and get in. Gordon, the shot is blocked. There's a delayed penalty call. It's an elbowing call. And the Canadians will go back to the power play here. No power play time for Gordon. But now the coach is going to come deliver a message. Um, I'm going to say, I'll get us the goal we need, and we're going to win, thanks to me. I'm the star. Our stars on this team, Suzuki, Caulfield, they just proved that they can't get the goal that they need on the power play. So now I'm going to have to show them how it's done. And the Canadians will break it out. There's Dadnoff. Can't get it to Gordon. No sustained pressure here at all for the Canadians. Gordon's back defensively though. Great defensive recovery, but he turns the puck over to Kyle Connor. And now Gordon's got the puck again, but he's checked. The Canadians cannot get into the zone as Winnipeg is playing some strong defense here. Gordon's got the puck again, but it's turned over. He can't hold on to the puck. The puck skills are non-existent. And will that be Gordon's last shift of the period? It will be. We're going to overtime. Tied up at twos. I told coach that I would score the next goal. Will I get ice time in overtime? That's the main question. 3.53 to go in overtime. Coach is putting me on the ice. Here's Gordon. He's got a step. No, Pionk's long stick again. He's been bugging Gordon all night, and there's a turnover. And Pionk comes across and takes out Dvorak. Hellebuck will move the puck to Dubois. Gordon with the back check. Ehlers tries to cut in, and Gordon takes it away. Taken away again there by Ehlers. No! But he's level there by Pionk again. Pionk has been all over Gordon in this game. And now Ehlers, the backhand shot. They score. Neil Pionk was a pain in Gordon's ass in that game. He could not get around him at all. And he forced a turnover there in the dying seconds of the game that led to a Nikolai Ehlers breakaway. And he beat Carey Price. Is Coach going to be disappointed in me? I'll tell you what, I'm disappointed in myself. We can't afford turnovers at this point. You know what, Coach? 
For once, you've said something that makes sense. All right, back in Montreal for this one, in the Belle Provence, taking on the Vegas Golden Knights. And let me tell you, the hate was out for Gordon after the last game when he forced the turnover. Brendan from Burlington. Apparently, there's a Montreal Canadiens fan in Burlington for some reason by the name of Brendan calling into the post-game show saying that this guy is trash. And even Ray Ferraro said he's not the guy we thought he was. So now it's time to go out there and prove him wrong. And I think that's what we're going to try and do. Here's Gordon. The shot is blocked. Petrangelo with great block there. Now forced turnover. Gordon tripped up. And no call on that play. I thought I lost that puck thanks to a trip. Now Gordon back into the zone. Gordon to Dadnoff. Back to Gordon. Couldn't get a shot away. March is so there. First shift of the second period underway here. Canadians don't have control of the puck, so we'll play some solid defensive hockey here, trying to prevent the Vegas Golden Knights from getting to the front of the net. There's a turnover in front. I'm not, I lost my man there, but it was blocked. Here's Petrie through the zone. Petrie tries to find Gordon, broken up by Petriangelo. Now Gordon steals the puck away, but just for a second, as Petriangelo gets the puck out of the zone. He calls for the puck behind the net. Gordon walking out. Gordon spins off his man. Gordon to the front of the net. The shot, the rebound is stopped there. Gordon, great shift here. And he'll go for a change. 3 nothing Vegas here. 4 nothing Vegas. Pacioretty coming back to haunt his former team. This is sad. I'm not playing at all. My team's given up tons of goals. And I feel like I'm getting some decent chances here when I'm on the ice. Oh, here comes the coach again. Trying to tell me what to do. We're just going to try and turn the tide of this game. The coach says we're down, but we're not out. We're down 4 nothing, coach, and we haven't scored. Our best players are, are there sitting on the bench, and you're not talking to them. That's all I have to say. Canadians have lost their last three games. No surprise there. Here's a breakout pass for Gordon. Can Gordon get into the zone? He makes a move. Gordon, the shot. He scores. The Bell Center crowd is on their feet for the first time in this game. Josh Gordon breaking in, snipes it past Leonard. The Canadians are on the board. That's how it's done, coach. Here's Dvorak with the puck. Kind of skates it into Leonard there. That might be it for Gordon in this game, knowing how much the coach loves him. 2.23 to go. The coach has benched him for a while again after scoring the only goal. Now Gordon's back on the ice. Can he get something else here to get with the Canadians within? Our oh, man, he just missed it. He missed the rebound. Now we're down to the last minute of the third. Dvorak finds Gordon. Gordon behind the net. Looking for somebody in front. Can't find anybody. Gordon tries to cut out in front. And he's checked there by Leonard. Pretty pathetic effort there by Gordon. In the dying seconds of the game. And that's going to do it for this one, folks. The Canadians are on a losing streak. Gordon gets the only goal in this one. Vegas defeats the Canadians. And it's a sad, sad time to be a Montreal Canadiens fan.